Hey folks, Pat here from Redford's Auctioneers. Um, I get asked all the time about why should I pay agents fees and you know I'm in the property a long time and you know I, I don't feel like I, I need an agent. Well, there's a friend of mine, I met him there recently, he put tenants into an apartment and uh, he, this, this same guy has seven or eight properties, he's been dealing the property market probably 12 or 13 years um, would have a good knowledge of the property market and I, I met him and he, he always seems to have fierce trouble with tenants and um, all of his problems, they're not paying rent, they're, they're messing the place up, he had one particular one there now recently, it was very bad, they must have done seven or eight thousand worth of damage, he also lost out in rent um, and I asked him and I, I said like where did you find the people, where did you get it, have you advertised it on the internet? Is it, um, have you sign up, is, where, where did you find the people, did they have references and literally all the same steps that I would take myself in finding a tenant but I met, when I met him he said yeah look we, we did everything, I did everything the exact same as you would do and um, I said what, where, what kind of references did they have, I said did they have a landlord's reference, no they had no landlord's reference but they had a reference from a priest from a care centre and I said well I said look in fairness to the priest he's probably a great guy a genuine guy but how does he know what they're like as tenants Did, were they renting a house from him uh, no they weren't um, and I said well what commercial involvement did he have with them was he collecting rent for the landlord and why would you take a reference from him and he put those tenants into the property not having a genuine reference Fair enough, it was a character reference, they might be nice people, but if he's not dealing with them, with the tenants, collecting rents and looking after a property, then he really doesn't know what kind of people they are. He's not in a position to give them a reference that would stand up um, for scrutinising points of view. Uh, so, yeah, the, the friend he was left with, probably seven or eight grand worth of damage, and um, a property now again that he's... He's had to put an awful lot of work and effort to get it back up to scratch again so he can rent it again. And So would I have taken that reference? Absolutely not. Um, we wouldn't. We'd make sure we get proper references from landlords who have dealt with the people already. Ring them up, talk to them, check them out. And uh, certainly we're a lot cheaper than seven or 8,000. So um, if you're interviewing an agent, make sure that's one of the things he does is check references. So... That's it for now. Take care. If you've any, if you want to give me an email, I'm pat at redfords.ie, or the the website is www.redfords.ie. Thank you.